Kabarak University has signed a pact with the University of Nairobi on a collaborative effort with the University of California, San Francisco's Institute for Global Health Science on an initiative dubbed Enabling Girls in Artificial Intelligence and Growing Expertise. Now, the project is funded by a grant from Takeda Pharmaceuticals and aims to empower over 800 girls and young women across the country with critical skills in data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence for public health. Speaking during the event, Kabrak University University Vice Chancellor Professor Henry Plaggett and uh, the University of Nairobi's Research Director Professor Julius Oyugi said the program will be a game changer in the health sector, as Ken Gashuhi reports. Kabrak University has entered into an agreement with the University of Nairobi to implement a project aimed at improving public health services using technology and data. The launch we are witnessing today is a culmination of a meticulous planning uh, that has taken place since April this year when we started our engagement with the University of Nairobi. Ladies and gentlemen, we will conduct this project within the framework of a collaborative research agreement. We chose Kabarak as the only private university in Kenya. Secondly, Kabarak was chosen to take care of this engaged project in the entire Rift Valley, former Rift Valley province. The over half a billion shillings project dubbed Enabling Girls in Artificial Intelligence and Growing Expertise is funded by Takeda Pharmaceuticals, a Japanese company which gave the prestigious award to the University of Nairobi, whose implementation is being done in collaboration with the University of California, the Institute of Health Science in San Francisco, and five other universities in Kenya. The program aims at equipping 800 girls and young women with skills in data science, machine learning, and use of artificial intelligence in the health sector. The project will strengthen, will also help strengthen the leadership potential and impact of women to improve health in their communities. Also empower and provide career mentorship for the girls to write the code that influences our health policy and decisions are made about their health. So we are hoping that one of the impact this project will have is that once we train these girls, in artificial intelligence and data science, and we expose them to public health data, they will be able to solve public health problems in our locality. Use of data and artificial intelligence is among emerging trends in the field of medicine shaping decisions and policies in the sector. Such application include during the COVID-19 pandemic, where the government relied on data to decide on when and where to impose lockdowns to control its spread. The University of Nairobi Institute of Tropical and Infectious Diseases took a lead to actually use data, health data, to advise the president on where the country was going to be locked and open during COVID-19. Uh, during the COVID time, when we signed an MOU for joint research on health information systems, and that project, ladies and gentlemen, is progressing well and is improving access to healthcare by and fostering partnership with investors and specialized medical personnel. Kenga Shohe, KTN News.